Hey everybody, Karen Bryan here speaking with Elir Latifi, finally back in action, uh, who will be facing Tanner Bozer at UC Vegas 28. So Elir, my goodness. Hello, and I feel like I should just first say welcome back. How you been? Oh, thanks. It's so nice being back finally, you know, so it feels great, you know, I've been good. I mean, uh, it's been crazy times for everybody through this uh, COVID uh, thing going on, so... But, you know, we're just pushing through, and uh, now we're here, you know. It's fight week. Yes. Okay, wait. Yeah, center yourself a little bit better there, so I want to make sure we see the full width. There we go. Better. Perfect. Okay, so, so yeah, so I, I guess I don't even know where to start because I feel like we haven't seen you fight that often. It's been like one fight in the last couple years, right? I think 2018 you had a couple. So um, yeah. what, what has been keeping you out? It's been injury, right? Yeah, I had some... Uh, I had a back injury first, you know, uh, in the beginning of uh, uh, 2000, ending of 2000, 2019, and, mm -hmm. and you know, it's been going back and forth coming, so uh, it was a struggle, you know, uh, staying healthy, and that was the, the, the main reason also going up to heavyweight too, because all the weight cutting was also affecting my injury, you know. Right, right. So how much better then do you feel you know, training and performing as a heavyweight now? Uh, I feel good, you know. Uh, I've been training with heavyweights all my life and sparring, you know. So uh, it was pretty natural for me uh, doing that step up. But still, you know, fighting in, in 205 and fighting heavyweight, it's, it's still very different because the gap between the weight is very big. So you still need some time to grow in in that weight class and put on, you know, good weight and, and feel comfortable moving around in that weight, you know. Yeah. Well, and also, you, it's not like you didn't challenge yourself. You faced Derek Lewis. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, there's people like you could go up to heavyweight and kind of test the water or you just jump right in with the Black Beast. So, um, you know, I mean, I guess that's that's what it is. Big, big yeah, opportunity, big challenge. You know, that, you know, that's me as a person. Uh, I go all or nothing. And, yeah. Uh, I want to challenge myself with the best, with the top. And, you know, Derek is there, you know, and now he's fighting a title fight mm -hmm. in a couple of months. So, yeah, it says, it says all. It was a tough challenge for sure. I think a lot of people, in a way, underestimate uh, Derek Lewis' skill, but I think he's, he's uh, they think that he has just this um, uh, one knockout punch, but. He's a very smart fighter. Uh, he can ride out the storm, like we've seen him do a lot of his fights, you know, and yeah. turn back. And uh, he's a funny guy too, you know. So <laughs> that's why he's, he's popular and loved, you know. But you know, there's there's a lot of opinions about that fight, who won, who didn't win. But yeah. that's history now, you know. So now we 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 go on on the next one and and next challenge. Right. Well, how how hard does he hit though, compared to some of the other guys you fought? He hits hard. Derek hits hard, but you know the thing was with him. He really surprised me that he's pretty athletic, being mm -hmm. that big, and you know doing this uh, kicks and uh, jumping and stuff. So um, now he, he's athletic. To be that good, he knows how to move. You know, uh, yeah. he's a natural fighter. You know, so but I just like I think people just see him as oh he's just a knock one knockout punch fighter or he just trains thirty minutes a day. But I don't. I don't really see that that way, you know. He, he got skills. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't. He couldn't have gotten as far as he has without really training and without really, you know, be, being an athlete. So yeah, agree. For sure, for sure. Agree. Then, then he fought me, and I ran dollars for, like, for three <laughs> rounds. So that, that was a different story. Yeah. So you're in Vegas now, training, right? So because I, I think I first heard a, about you, maybe even from a, a Swedish friend of mine. And you kind of been around for a while. You fought one of my best buddies, Gay Guard. And so I've known about you for a while, but, you know, like, I feel like we, we just haven't gotten to see enough of you at in the UFC. So do you think now that with the, the, the new weight class, basically, you know, if you've been there before, obviously, but, um, and feeling better now, like, how active can we start to plan on seeing you? Uh, you know, everything is about uh, finding that balance with your training and your camp and uh, between so of course everybody wants to fight three four times a year and sometimes you can't do it and sometimes you can't you know sometimes it's injuries or other things so whatever it is you just got to do the best and and uh, try try to be as active as possible and that's yeah. 
that's the aim too, you know. But always the focus is one one fight at a time. Nice. So with Tanner, then what do you what do you see in him? Because he kind of came out hot. He's like a young, athletic fighter. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people actually thought he was going to beat Andre, but then Andre won that one. But you know, he he is. Um, he is talented, and he kind of, in a lot of people's minds, represents the new wave of heavyweights and the next generation of, of you know, future stars. So when you see him, what kind of fight do you expect to, to get from him? You know, I, I, um, I think he's a very talented fighter. You know, mm-hmm. like you said, a new form of heavyweights uh, yeah. uh, uh, that's, like you say, athletic and, and moves a lot. So, uh, and uh, he has a lot of people believing in him, too. Mm-hmm. So... I think it's a great challenge. He's a tough fighter, and uh, he comes to fight. So I think the matchup is good, and uh, and it's going to be an exciting fight. Mm-hmm. So you've been preparing, though, in Vegas, right? That's where you've been. Because I know in the past you've trained at different camps, sometimes ATT, sometimes yeah. there. So so what's the reason for being in Vegas more? Yeah. So due to COVID and everything that happened, uh, the with the problems coming to the U.S. now with COVID with regulations, I just decided to to start my camp in Vegas because I was gonna fight in Vegas. Yeah. And um, I had some people from Sweden come over, help me, my coach, with the help of Extreme Couture and Eric and the guys there, the coaches, uh, helping me out there too. So, yeah. uh, just just wanted to come over to the U.S. and start training and fight here, you know, because uh, all the traveling, there's always a risk when you travel so much. So. Right. I just wanted to be here and do it, and 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 it's been great. A lot of big guys training here too, you know. So that was been been nice too. Yeah, yeah. Did you work with? Isn't Walt Harris is out there, and you guys are on the same card? Even have you guys been training together? Yeah, Walt Walt is, Walt is here. Uh, Francis was here for a while before he became champ, and now he's <laughs> traveling all over the world. Yeah, <laughs> that he he deserves that for sure, hundred percent. So uh, it's it's funny to see all the success he had. Uh, so, yeah. but you know, there's there's a lot of big guys coming here all the time. You know, UFC, PFL, mm-hmm. you know, Bellator guys. So it's been great. Yeah, nice. And you, so you've been able to kind of like keep your, you know, like your mental health okay, right? Because you know, for some people, when they don't get to fight, and that's you know their main outlet in life. Um, and then with COVID, with all these things, like it's been it's been hard for everybody. But how did you? How have you been able to manage just sort of watching the fight game go on when you're sitting there on the sidelines? Because it's got to be frustrating. It has to be. It's, it's it, you know what. This year has been frustrating for all people in different yeah. ways, you know. And it was frustrating for me too. You're not being able to do uh, the things that I wanted in the way that I wanted. But uh, this is life. Sometimes you just gotta take it how it is and do the best out of it. So, yeah. but we gotta think that there's people in, in worse situations. You know, people lost loved ones mm-hmm. in, with with uh, with COVID and uh, all the bad things happening. So, uh, I just try to be positive and working, developing and yeah, now when it's time to to fight, we we found the possibility to come over and do it. Nice, nice. So now, are you when you're in Sweden? Sometimes you're with the All Star guys. Um, what's the latest on Hamzat? Is he is he okay? Like, have you guys trained together before? Like, how how well do you know him? Because he's such a superstar. And I got to meet him on Fight Island. I was like, I love this kid. All right, oh, like already rather. And then like he just was so hot. And now like he just was taken away from us. Like Hamzat, come back. Uh, we need him back. I know, I know. Like uh, people are going crazy about this kid. Is like he has an amazing story uh, for 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 his life and, and the the road that he's made. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, we the guys and also that uh, me, Alex, and all the other that were there. You know, and and uh, in the beginning when we came, we we just saw this amazing talent from the beginning. Like mm-hmm. this guy is talent from the beginning. And he just started working with us, and it, it, it's just like everything evolved so so fast. And it's it's really really amazing seeing this kid that practically lived in the gym for a couple of years and like sacrificed everything and worked worked so hard. And um, now now he's there where he is. Uh, sadly, had this uh, complication with COVID, right. and had to like we everybody were trying to like. You gotta rest, you know. Don't train, don't train because 
he's so used training three, four times a day or, you know, every day. So yeah. he was so, so frustrated not being able to train hard. And by training with the COVID, it got even more complicated. So right. I think now he got help to, to heal up. And I think he's more hungry than ever. And I think he had time to land with all this stardom around him, you know, because yeah. uh, I don't think there's never been so much talk about a fighter after one, two or three fights, you know, never. Right. Like people are always seeing it as a champ, you know, and sometimes that can also be a lot to handle, you know, mm -hmm. it's coming. So I think he had time to land in it and now he's super hungry and focused and um, hopefully we're going to see him very, very soon in the octagon. Yeah, I hope so too. And I do think, like, I mean, do you, you would know then, like, he is a future champ for sure, huh? I believe so for sure. And the funny thing is, like, even before he was in the UFC, uh, I was, like, talking with, with the, yeah, uh, with some of the people, uh, with the manager and stuff. And I said, this guy, this guy, he has a bright future. This guy, before he was in the UFC, I say he can beat the champs in the UFC for sure, because uh, his level is 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 uh, is is just an extreme talent. But it's not only a talent; he's hardworking. He he has all the 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 components to become a champ, and uh, yeah. you know. So hopefully, we'll see it. We'll see even more of him soon. I hope so too. I really do. So you know, in the meantime, then have you? Have you had any time to go horseback riding, Alir? Because we love, the internet loves the pictures of you on your horses, and we, we haven't had enough, so we need more horseback riding pictures. What's the deal? Honestly, I haven't been, uh, I haven't, like, mostly when I do that, I'm back in uh, in my home country, Albania. I love to go on horseback riding on the beach or in the yeah. mountains, you know, it's a, it's a big passion. I'm a big nature, nature guy and uh, animals, yeah. you know, and stuff, so... I haven't had time to that, but hopefully after the fight, I will have more time and do that, you know, be, be one with nature and just in, enjoying life. Yeah, there's, yeah, those, you but, and your horses, and uh, then you and your dogs, yeah. right? What, what horses are, <laughs> yeah, I had two dogs too, yeah, everybody, Trim and Rambo, they're, they're like super famous back in Sweden, so I miss them a lot because I'm over here now training and focusing, but uh, yeah, the, the, the herd is gonna grow, so they're gonna come some other uh, other stuff too, probably. You know, I, I I've been talking about doing my own animal show in the future when I have time, so yeah, probably I'm gonna do something like that in the future. Travel around the world and and do a cool animal show, like a real something different, different level. Maybe I'll travel around with fighters, and yeah, do some crazy stuff like safaris. So let's see. That sounds really cool. So yeah, so are you you're actually quite the adventurer then? Hundred percent. That that's a big passion. I love that. So I go shark diving. Uh, I'm planning to go this summer uh, outside of the Guadalupe, do some shark uh -huh. diving with great great white sharks. It's yeah, one of the best spots to do that. Uh, we gotta just like take care of these places and. And uh, keep them for the next generation, you know, so so they yeah. can experience them. Yeah, no, I agree. I, and I love like scuba diving and stuff. But did you ever? Did you see Tyron Woodley went diving with the sharks recently? Uh, I don't know if you saw the clip on his Instagram where literally because he told me about this when we were working. He he was really scared, and like all he does is he doesn't even want to get off the boat, and then he just kind of sticks his head in the water like with his mask, and he's like, oh, okay, I saw the sharks, and then he gets right back on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's like that. Hell to actually, know. that uh, that's pretty common. I was at a tour and we were like a couple of people, and three or three or four people panicked as soon as they got into the water. Yeah, and, and seeing the shark just got up, and they paid pretty much money for them. They, they didn't want to do it anymore. So, so and 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 it's fine, you know. But uh, you know, I just I just love the channel, the challenge, and, and the connection with nature, you know. So yeah. so let's see, maybe we'll do something cool. That would be amazing. Well, plus also though, Alir, you have a little bit of an advantage like over other people in terms of like you could literally, you could punch a shark. Like you could win a fight with a shark, I think. <laughs> 100%. One or two, easy. <laughs> nice. I love it. I love it. Well, you know what? Um, it's just, it's just, I'm just happy you're back. So um, ideally in this fight with Tanner, 
how how would you like to win? I mean, are you are you looking for a big comeback knockout? Is there a part of you that maybe, you know, I know it's a weird thing, but sometimes people kind of want to spend a little bit of time in the octagon. They don't necessarily always want it over fast to kind of get their bearing back. In. I want to come in and win, you know, and, and not leave it to the judges, you know? Yeah. Like Dana said, don't leave it to the judges because sometimes you're going to be disappointed, you know? And last mm -hmm. time I was disappointed of the judges. So <laughs> this time I'm not going to leave it to the judges, you know? Uh, 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 fight is a fight, but uh, you got to go in and, and uh, do your best, you know, so yeah. that's it. Absolutely. Well, it's always great to see you fight. I know everybody's excited to have you back, and hopefully uh, you'll stay healthy and stay active because, yeah, we need we need more of that. Not that I don't want to see your adventure show, too, but I'd like to see you in the octagon first a little bit more often. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm, it's very nice to be back. Nice talking with you again. And yeah, one it's just fight week. So now let's go, you know. So here we go. Here we it's go. It's the fun part. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. All the hard work is done. This is the fun part. So uh, yeah. so yeah, I'll be working that show. Um, it's me and Anthony Smith and Mike Chiesa, I think. So we'll have a good time uh, talking about you guys. So yeah, Alir, thank you so much for doing this. And folks should know we are going to do a No Wrong Answers as well, so they should look for that. But uh, but yeah, Alir, thank you so much for your time, and best of luck in your fight. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you.